the treatment of label tears initially is conservative. Trials of physical therapy and possible cortisone injections about the hip can yield pain relief that sometimes lasts for a very long time. This is typically what I try first in all of my patients. Sometimes, however, conservative treatment is not enough and people continue to have hip pain, pain with sitting, pain with twisting activities, or pain with walking. If that's the case, we have recently developed an arthroscopic solution for people with hip label tears and pain because of that. What doctors can do now is use cameras and small instruments inside of the hip and repair the labrum. We can put anchors delivered arthroscopically into the bone and the string that is attached to those anchors can be wrapped around it through the labrum and tied back down to the bone to fix a torn label tear. Now typically if someone has a label tear, it is from impingement, or FAI, and that impingement needs to be addressed while the patient is getting the label tear repaired. Otherwise, you're setting the clock back to zero. You may fix the label tear, but the underlying cause of the label tear has not been addressed. In the last 1,000 hip arthroscopies that I've performed in patients 30 years or younger, I can think of two patients who had a label tear that was not caused by underlying femoral acetabular impingement. So having an isolated label tear and treating it as an isolated label tear is actually extremely rare. And in most of my patients, there's an underlying bony disorder that needs to be arthroscopically addressed along with the label tear. Fortunately, our techniques have evolved where we can take off the extra bone off the rim of the socket as well as off of the femoral head neck junction and create a round on round joint where the labrum that has been recently repaired is not under increased stress and can heal and can function normally.